just Ashley Ruiz. Good Thursday morning, friends. It's October 1st, and it is still hurricane season. I know it's been a long year, but we are watching two waves in the Atlantic Basin. We'll start with this red X that you see. This is one tropical wave. It's going to interact with the frontal boundary. The National Hurricane Center saying a tropical depression is now likely to develop by the weekend in the Caribbean. No imminent threat to the northern Gulf Coast. This is just something we have to keep an eye out on. Also, another wave that is going to move into the Caribbean in the coming days. It's currently just to the east of the Lesser Antilles. It has a 20% chance for formation through the next five days. It's just something to watch for now. No need to worry. No need to panic. Just check back in with us daily. In the meantime, it is very quiet. We have high pressure near the surface, really dry air in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere, and you will notice it is going to be a bit more humid today, just a little bit more humid today, but we have a cold front that's going to move through and that's going to make sure those winds stay out of the north. We have another surge of cool dry air that will move in. You're not going to notice it by the afternoon because it is still going to be warm, but tomorrow morning and especially tomorrow afternoon, but uh, more specifically Saturday morning, you're going to notice it's going to be cooler. 55 degrees right now, dew point temperatures in the 50s, but check it out. We have 30s and 40s for dew points just to our northwest, so that's just showing that dry air is making its way into the deep south. So again, dew points in the low and mid 50s, so that is still comfortable. It's still going to be comfortable today. Temperatures are just going to be warmer in the mid 80s. As for Friday and Saturday, dew points are back in the mid 40s, so that means very low humidity. That that crisp fall air is going to make a comeback. And again, very comfortable this morning just before sunrise here in the capital city. We're not seeing anything in the way of rain, not even cloud cover, and that's going to be the case today. Maybe a few passing clouds with the front itself, but over we're all looking good. Once the sun goes down, temperatures will begin to fall back into the 50s by tomorrow morning. Rain chances zero for the next five days, not anticipating any rain. Again, it's all dependent on what happens with the tropics, but again, uh, over the next seven days, we're going to be mostly dry. And the Climate Prediction Center is now saying into the second week of October, temperatures are likely going to be near average instead of below average, which is what we're dealing with right now. Average is around 83, but then beyond that into the middle half of the month above average temperatures for the entire United States, pretty much at least the lower 48. So enjoy the cooler weather while it's here. 85, which is near seasonal for today. Tonight will fall into the mid 50s. Clear skies to view the full harvest moon. We'll have another full moon at the end of the month on Halloween. That will be the blue moon. As for the weekend, looking great. Plenty of sunshine. Temperatures will be in the 70s. Overnight temperatures in the 50s. Another front moves in on Sunday, and that's just going to bring more dry air to the area. Highs will be in the 70s and 80s. If you're headed out on the water today, a north wind 10 to 15 with the seas running between one and two. Let's get a final check on the traffic this morning. Again, not seeing.